guys how do gaming is back here with another nba 2k 17 block top video and today we're gonna be playing as paul george and we're playing against isaiah thomas so before we get started with this video uh for the new viewers i would suggest you guys to subscribe and also hit that like button do all that fun stuff um because i do take in subscriber suggestions on matchups if you guys have any matchup suggestion you guys would like me to do hit that uh comment in the comment section down below um after you have subscribed because i will be sure to look at that um also if you do enjoy these videos uh go check out the playlist with the rest of the blacktop videos because i do make a lot of other blacktop videos as well so uh i do play hall of fame so i won't win in all of my games but i do try my best as we're just getting cookies like what's going on here isaiah thomas buckets from deep no crap we still don't have more than one okay there we go let's get a bucket here right yeah two zip so I won't, won't win all of my games once again because I do play Hall of Fame because if you've tried it, it's actually not that easy to win. But if if you know what you're doing, you can win easily like I'm doing here. But when I do goof off and play around, like, yeah, that just it usually leads to losses as we're just demolishing them. Mostly because he's like five foot nine and we're like, what, six foot eight. So there's a huge size differential. But really, um, the reason for this video is there's been some trade rumors about Paul George possibly leaving Indiana to go to the Celtics, and I'm just like, nah, bro, that just can't happen because Paul George, favorite player uh, currently in the league for me right now, uh, and like, I'm a Pacers fan, that would really hurt, like, if Paul George left, that would that would just kill. Um, just just my 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 confidence for the Pacers, because he is our team leader. Um, he he does have a lot of off nights, but uh, he does put up a good 25 points a game. So I'm fine with that as long as he can keep that up. I, I'm Gooch. But the fact that the Pacers are even in in talk for trade with him that that just makes me sad because he like we're building the team around him we're getting all the uh all the parts to f to build up around him so he can uh become a better team because you usually start from one core and then you build around that core um in really anything so here we we started with paul george uh, he used to be like a bench warmer when he started off uh, Back in like the Danny Granger days and then we figured out that he actually had potential So then right now he's averaging 25 points a game uh, being a starter and that's after a Huge injury which when he snapped his leg in half So just think about all that stuff and then you're just gonna trade him away like that That kind of makes me like mad because I just wouldn't like that to happen knowing he's our team star player like if you're not a Pacers fan you probably can't feel for me as much because you're not a Pacers fan but you you probably do have like a little bit of thought um, like just like when KD left OKC for uh, the Warriors they still did have Russell Westbrook so it doesn't make it that significant of a thing but it is a pretty big uh, thing because, like, I did feel for the Thunder. I'm just like, dang, your star player just left your team. But that's also kind of different because he left wanting to leave. Paul George being traded, that's not his choice. That's the Indiana Pacers organization trading him away, which is, 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 is worse, definitely. So, yeah, you can, you, like, that's why everyone's hating on KD, all the Thunder fans are, because they have the right to, because he left. He, he, he had a choice to stay. Whereas, I can't really hate on Paul George if he gets traded away, because he got traded. Like, that, that, that's not his. Uh, 
his uh, choice, really. And I'm just thinking, I'm just like, what would we get in return? Isaiah Thomas? Like, there's not really anyone up to the capability of Paul George on their team, unless we're, like, trading for, like, draft picks. And the Celtics are a good team, so they're not going to have great draft picks either. So, I don't know what we would get. And I am completely destroying Isaiah Thomas because of this height differential. Like, it, it's kind of dirty as it's now 18 to 7, but... Wow. Can we hit another one? Ah, uh, rebound. Dunk. Let's go. So that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, once again, hit that uh, comment section up. Uh, leave your suggestion if you are subscribed. Because probably tomorrow I'll do a subscriber suggestion. So uh, just hit that in the comments down below. Um, and it's 20 to 7, and I have no idea, like, I don't think I've ever won on Hall of Fame by this much. Alright, there's no way I'm gonna get to that. Let me just get a quick heat check for the win. Nah, oh, dang. Rebound, boys. Pull up on his face. Got it! So, final score, 21 seven hopefully you guys did enjoy that video if you guys did be sure to hit that like button subscribe check out the playlist with the rest of the locked top videos and that will be it how do you oh, he had eight 21 to eight final score that'll be it how do gaming is signing out peace